Hi, it's Anthony Lewis from iSimulate here, and this is another video to show you what's new in Build 7 of Reality360. Uh, for this video, I'm going to concentrate on the new 12-lead uh, ECGs. So I'm just going to show you how you select a 12-lead ECG in Reality360. What you do is you sim simply tap on the waveform picker, which is the central part of the heart rate dial, and you can see the waveform picker comes up. Uh, you may notice that there are some additional categories that we have added, such as myopathies and electrolytes and drugs. So let's go into one of those. Let's pick ischemia. And now you can see that some of the ECG waveforms have the number 12 with an ECG icon next to it and a recommended rate underneath. So all of these uh, 12 leads, or all of these ECG waveforms have 12 leads associated with them. In other categories, such as atrial abnormalities, you may notice that some of the ECGs do not have the number 12 and an icon associated with them. These are still just the standard uh, single lead, that is lead 2 ECGs, but we will be adding 12 lead ECGs to these in due course. So let's just pick the anterior STEMI and we'll tap on send. And we can see that the uh, ECG changes to a lead 2 on the uh, Zoll X series there. Now on the Zoll X series you can change the lead that you see, so by just tapping on the soft key up here I can go through the leads. There's lead 3, AVR, AVL, and so on. We can go through each of the leads. Let's go back to 2. So if you wanted to change the look of that, and now you go into the new 12 lead button um, in the heart rate box and you can see a schematic representation of where the ECG electrodes are placed on a person. So if I tap on no electrodes you can see that there's no electrodes being selected and the uh, waveform goes to a dotted line. If I just select the uh, electrodes that are for lead 2 I'll start to see lead 2 appear on the monitor, but if I change to other leads, you can see that they remain as a dotted line. So as we add leads to it, you can add by just tapping on the lead itself, or you can just tap on, tap on the or you can tap on the quick placement boxes, so 6 channel, 12 channel and then you can add the uh, pads as well and toggle those on and off or to select them on and off as you want. So let's look at what that uh, looks like on the 12 lead display that the Zoll has and you can see all of the leads are shown there. If for example I want to lose V5 I just tap on V5 and that goes to a dotted line and I can bring it back again. So you can really do uh, very accurate uh, ECG training with this now. If I now tap on the, the ECG snapshot button on the Zorax series, it's going to acquire the 12 lead, and then it's going to show a printout of the 12 lead. Remember, of course, you can change the heart rate by going faster and all of the leads will change, and of course slower as well. If you want to send a 12 lead to chart, then you go into media, tap on the 12 lead button here, and that will send a 12 lead ECG that you're currently doing to the chart uh, part of reality. So that's a quick run through uh, of the new 12 lead functions in Reality360.